This point is 1 minus 4. So at this point here, x is 1. What is fx? fx is the y coordinate, right? So this is going to be minus 4. Can you predict what is 1 over fx? 1 over fx will be 1 over minus 4 or negative 1 over 4, negative 1 quarter. You know what is this is going to tell me? This is going to tell me the new y coordinate. Which means that the original y coordinate is this 1 minus 4. I'll be expecting the new y coordinate to be 1 and minus 1 quarter. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because the graph that is here has all the y coordinates to be 1 over the original y coordinate. You get it? You get it? Okay, Ken? Uh, those of you who are online, any problem? Like, clear, right? <laughs> okay, I see the emojis. Ending where I assume that you are clear also, right? You, you know what? This is the actually the only analysis that you need, you know? Is and like everything that you are doing, right? You're actually going through this process. Let me show you what I mean, okay? So the first thing that I want to do is I want to try to analyze all the asymptotes, okay? So step by step, let's try to draw this graph. I'm going to analyze all the asymptotes of this. Okay, first step. So analyzing all the asymptotes, let's analyze the horizontal asymptotes first, or if you prefer the vertical asymptote first, it's fine. Just make sure that we go through all the asymptotes. So for horizontal asymptote, what is it? It is the behavior of y when x tends to plus or minus infinity. So when x tends to plus or minus infinity, I can see that y tends to 2, which means that fx tends to 2. Okay? So 1 over fx is 1 over 2. So when x tends to plus or minus infinity on this graph, y tends to 1 over 2 which means that on this graph, I will be expecting a horizontal asymptote. y is equal to 1 over 2, okay? How about vertical asymptote? When x is equal to minus 6, what is fx? fx is undefined. How do I know what is this? This is 1 over undefined. You cannot do a 1 over undefined, by the way. Okay, but we have discussed about something just now, which is the nature of reciprocal says that if I have 3, reciprocal is going to be 1 over 3. If I have reciprocal 1 over 3, I'm going to get back a 3. Okay, they are always reciprocal of each other, which means that because I cannot do a 1 over undefined, but I know 1 over what will give me an undefined? 0. That is why here it should be 0, because 1 over 0 will give me undefined. Where I, I just try to reverse engineer a little bit, which means that what is the point that I'm going to be expecting here? which is the translated version, the transformed version of this x is equal to minus 6 as a vertical asymptote, you will become an x-intercept. Minus 6, 0. Okay? Actually, the same goes for this. I can actually put it together. When x is equal to 6, it's undefined, which means that I'm going to be expecting a point that is here, and this point is going to be 6, 0. You get it so far? Okay, so let's, let's continue to try it this way. I have finished working on the asymptotes. Do I have any other asymptotes? Okay, I've already finished on working on other asymptotes. Okay, let's, let me move on to something else, which is uh, the x, y intercept. Let's see, okay? The x, y intercept. What do we have here? We have this. When x is equal to 0, y is minus 5, which means that fx is minus 5, which means that 1 over fx is going to be minus 1 over 5, which means that the y coordinate that I'm going to be expecting here will be 0 and minus 1 over 5, okay? This is the, I'm working on the x, y intercept. So I've already finished this point here. Uh, there's this and this. So when x is equal to 9, this is 0. I guess this is obvious. This is undefined. When x is equal to 9, y is undefined here. What is this? A vertical asymptote. So when x is equal to 9, is a vertical asymptote. We have this x is equal to 9. Actually, the same goes for when x is equal to 13. I will also be getting a vertical asymptote. So I'll be getting a vertical asymptote here, x is equal to 13. So I have also worked on this already. Okay? And the final thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to just try to do the same thing from the left to the right. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing from the left to the right. And here, it does require a little bit of getting used to. Because here, I, I try to highlight very prominent features to you to analyze asymptotes and xy intercept. And here, right, when you're going from the left to the right, because I'm not actually continuing to highlight to you prominent features, so I do need you to decide where exactly on the graph that you want to analyze. And usually, I'll analyze them based on 
points that are nearer to the features. For example, for example, okay. For example, there's a horizontal asymptote here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, because horizontal asymptote is the behavior of y when x tends to plus or minus infinity. Okay, so I want to analyze this point. Because this point is all the way to the left when x tends to minus infinity. And in order for me to analyze this point, one thing that you want to take note of is, you don't actually have the equation of this. Okay, so you don't know the coordinates that is on the point. Okay, but just to facilitate my mind trying to do some uh, mental sum and imagination, right? What I propose that you can do is you assign an arbitrary coordinate. So fake one. Okay, assign an arbitrary coordinate. For example, a point that is all the way to the left, right? Maybe you can go for negative 100 and a point that is slightly above 2, maybe you can go for like 2.1. So this is what I want you to do. Put a point at a place where you feel that you want to analyze. Then after that, you assign an arbitrary coordinate to it based on your gut feel of x, y axis. Which means that this point here, which is minus 100, I think about it in my head, I'm going to go for the y coordinate to be 2.1, and this is 1 over 2.1. You know what is good about this? 1 over 2.1 is less than half. That is why that point will be translated to a point that is just slightly below y is good to half. Then, after that, I'm going to continue to the left, to here. And I've already put a point here. So actually, I'm just trying to join points together. From here, if I were to join to here, there's a horizontal asymptote here, so I'm going to join it this way. And if I were to progress, I'm going to go to here, which I've already poked. The graph must pass through here. So I'm going to join it to here, this way. Then after that, I'm going to come to this point where the x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is minus 4, which means that the new y coordinate is going to be minus 1 quarter. Minus 1 quarter is even more negative than minus 1 over 5. So I'm going to poke it at a point that is maybe here. This is going to be at 1 and minus 1 quarter. So it will come down here, but I know the next thing that it has to pass through is here. So I'm going to just make a little loop here and then letting it come back to here. So far, you get the idea. It's actually very, very easy. We provided that you are you are comfortable enough. Let's just say I was telling you, this last step here right, is more of like you know, your, your familiarity, your comfort level. You're comfortable enough in choosing a point to analyze here. For example, the next one is going to be a little bit more uncomfortable for you in the beginning, but it's not that difficult to get used to it, which is, uh, what do you want to do next when it comes to x is equal to 9? Because you know x is, <coughs> x is equal to 9 is already here. Okay, but if you were to look at this, right, you know what is the, 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 <coughs> the undeciding thing? You don't actually have a point to poke yet. Because this is a vertical asymptote. So you are not even sure whether it's going to go down or whether it's going to go up. You can do a very quick verification. Where do you want to verify? If you were to be me, I will verify it using a point that is just before 9. Because that is what I don't know what to do. You just before 9, should it be here or should it be here? So I, so I'll put a point that is just before 9, assigning an arbitrary coordinate to it, for example, 8.9. And then the y coordinate is, for example, 0 0.01. 1 over 0 0.01 is 100. So that point will be 8.9 and 100. Okay, I may have to make some changes to my points here and there. So from here, I'll let it go all the way up to join to this. This point just now, we have actually verified it is at the point minus 6 and 0. So it is going to be here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be there because I've already put a point that is here. After 9, if you are not very sure, after 9, will the graph continue from here or will the graph be here or will the graph be here? Put a point. Okay, I'll usually put a point near the features. Okay, I, I'll not likely put a point that is in between. I mean, if it is comfortable in, I mean, if you feel that it will make you comfortable to put a point that is here, right, you just put. Okay, but I really know it will be this point which corresponds to this point. Then after that, this which corresponds to this point. So I have no problem just joining it from here to here. So I don't really need anything that is in between. That's why I didn't put anything here. Okay, so anyway, proceeding from here, I'm working on a point that is just after 9. For example, the x coordinate is 9.1, just after 9, minus 0 0.01. Then it will be minus 100. Okay, so I know that it is going to be from here. 9.1 and minus 100. Then you'll go to this point, which is 11, and minus 2, it will be minus half, right? This point. So it is going to be, uh, minus half is, is, is even more negative than this. So it is going to be here, 11 and minus half. So from here, you will come back to this. And it comes to 13. In fact, 13, I can consolidate it together with this. So it's like 13, uh, just before 13, right? Let me go for 12.9, okay? 
So if I were to go for a 12.9, 12.9. If I were to go for a 12.9, the reason why I consolidated it with this is because the y coordinate is almost like negative 0 0.01 because it's just my, me thinking, which means that it's going to go to negative 100. So it's going to be 12.9 and negative 100 is going to be coming back down here. After that, it is going to be this point that is here. I will probably just see this point to be very, very similar to this 8.9. So I'm looking at something that is like 13.1 which gives me 0 0.01, it gives me 100. So 13.1 here, 100 is going to be here. I need one more point here for me to poke. I mean for me to poke here so that I can join it together. I'm going to poke a point that is here, which I'm going to go for maybe 100, positive 100. And this, I'm going to go for let's say 1.9, which means I'm going to go for 1 over 1.9, which is bigger than half. So it is going to be a point that is slightly above so I will come back down here, then go back to this and go to a point that is slightly above the horizontal. So